Energies. Welcome if you're new, I'm Alicia. A while ago, I launched a new ebook with over 100 vegan recipes, so today I figured I'd share some of the easy breakfast options here with you since we're back to school and a lot of you are trying to get in that healthy fuel to start your day. I hope you enjoy. We're starting out with a super easy and versatile granola. In a bowl, I add rolled oats, almonds, cashews, pecans, you could of course use any nuts, and coconut shreds. Mix. Separately, I mix maple syrup, coconut oil, vanilla extract, cinnamon, and salt. I add the dry to the wet and stir well to integrate. Then I can transfer to a sheet pan, or it might need two because this makes a lot of granola, lined with parchment and cook low and slow for about an hour and a half. I like to wait until the end of cooking to stir it and break it up so I can have some larger and some smaller pieces. Once removed from the oven, you can stir in mixed raisins or dried fruit of your choice and enjoy, or store for later. The beauty of this recipe is it is a base recipe that you can swap in and out to your heart's content. Use your favorite nuts, sub the coconut for any seed or other mix in, any dried fruit, you can really have fun with it and make it different every time. Cooking it low and slow gets it crunchy without burning. I love it as a parfait with yogurt or plain as a snack. Next, we've got a vegan omelet. Sounds like an oxymoron, but we're doing it. First, I'm going to get the filling of my omelet made. I add a bit of oil with onion and mushroom, cooking a few minutes until softened. Then I add spinach and let that wilt down and season to taste with salt and pep. Spinach, mushroom, and onion make for one of my favorite omelet fillings, but you can use anything you prefer. For the eggs, to a blender, I add tofu, almond milk, nutritional yeast, cornstarch or arrowroot powder, baking powder for fluffiness, onion powder, a pinch of turmeric, salt and pepper, and a pinch of kala namak, which I have no idea how to say, but it's an Indian black salt that sort of gives this an eggy taste. I got it on Amazon and I will link it in the description. Blend that up until it looks like a pancake batter, not too thick or thin, and then we can get our skillet going over medium heat with a bit of oil or spray. Add your batter and cover until smooth. Once it's beginning to bubble, reduce the heat to medium and allow it to firm on the bottom. Now this may take eight to 10 minutes, so let it go low and be patient. When it's firm enough to lift up on the side, add your fillings. Make sure the middle is not liquidy and is set, and then you can fold the omelet over and top with salsa or whatever you prefer. Holy moly, does that look like an omelet? Come on, that's a pretty convincing omelet. And to be honest, I'm sure the way it looks helps to fool the brain because it actually tastes omelety too. I am a huge fan of regular egg omelets and I totally devoured this one. Thumbs up if you are enjoying these vegan recipes. Could you take a quick moment to just hit that subscribe button and the bell and the thumbs up? Did you do it? I'm not even making you pause the video to do it. Just please hit all the buttons, except for the thumbs down button. How about a classic favorite kicked up a notch, sweet potato toast. I have a few of these in the ebook and on my website, and I've shared a video before, so check that out for further info on how to actually slice the potato. But once you've got your toasts, you can toast them up in the toaster or toaster oven and add your favorite toppings. This one's got black bean hummus with cucumber, hemp seeds, and a drizzle of olive oil. It's really so simple, but so beautiful, and actually has a lot of flavor with just a few common ingredients. You could use regular hummus, but I like to switch it up. Of course, you could also totally use regular bread as toast too, but I love getting even more nutritious carbs in for breakfast when I can. Okay, we've probably saved the best for last, banana bread. This is a recipe to save those browning bananas for. Mash them up until chunky, add sugar or sweetener of choice, coconut oil, almond milk, and vanilla extract. Whisk to incorporate. Sift in your oat flour. Then add baking soda, cinnamon, and salt. Stir to mix, and stir in some chopped nuts if you'd like. Sifting the flour is gonna help this mix together more easily and evenly, and if you make your own oat flour, which you should because it's literally blending up oats in the blender, then it's nice to get out those bigger pieces so you have a consistent bread. Into the loaf pan it goes, and I like to add rolled oats and banana slices on top because it looks nice, and we eat with our eyes first. 
Cover with foil and bake. Remove the foil to finish it off, and when a toothpick comes out clean, it's done. Cool completely before slicing. I like to use the foil lining so it's easy to remove from the pan. Wowza! Talk about moist. No eggs, no dairy, and totally hard to resist, so don't even try to resist. Try the recipe for sure, just not the resisting part. And really try all the recipes. They're all in my newest ebook with over 100 vegan recipes. You can use the code BREAKFAST for 10% off any ebook or package of your choice this week only at mindovermunch.com slash ebooks. Our Meal Prep Ignite course is now closed for enrollment, but we do have two free courses open. One is all about inflammation and how to conquer it and create your own elimination diet. The other is a healthy staples guide to help you learn how to choose the right oils, milks, breads, and more. They're both free. Links are in the description. And let me know if you have any additional course ideas that you would be interested in seeing. I'll see you next week. And remember, it's all a matter of mind over munch.